morning, friends, and welcome to the Wonder of the Week. This week, we're, uh, we are going to learn all about migration. And we are going to read Bird, Butterfly, Eel by James Prosek from Simon & Schuster Kids to help us get started. Let's see. Bird, Butterfly, Eel. Story and Paintings by James Prosek. Simon & Schuster Books for Young Readers. It's summer on the farm, and Bird, Butterfly, and Eel are at home. Butterfly is a monarch. She lives in the meadow behind the pond. Eel lives in the dark, cool waters of the, of the pond below the lilies. Bird lives in the barn at the end of the meadow, a nest she made of smud and straw. She loves being safe, high up in the rafters, away from the barn cats. Can you spy the birds? Butterfly is laying her eggs on the milkweed plants in the meadow. Soon the eggs hatch and become caterpillars. They eat the milkweed and get strong enough to spin chrysalises and become butterflies. Eel has lived in the pond for many years. She is eating insects and small fish and storing up energy for her long swimming journey ahead. Bird flies over the meadow collecting insects to feed to her babies in the barn. As summer turns into fall, birds young, young have left the nest and are flying over the pond and meadow, singing songs for butterfly and eel. Butterfly watches her young caterpillars turn into beautiful butterflies. Eel is full and strong and is ready for her long journey. With the cool winds of autumn, bird, butterfly and eel sense a change. Feel restless and know this means it is time to leave the farm. Bird gathers her babies and flies southwest over the barn, the meadow, the pond, and follows the coast. Butterfly takes to the southerly, to the southerly winds, heading down over the land and sea. Eel swims downstream and out to the ocean. At one point in their long journey at the edge of the sea, bird, butterfly, and eel will meet one last time to say goodbye. There they see different animals on their own long journeys to very different places. Then all of the creatures, striped bass, fall, false albacore, common tern, bay anchovy, osprey, fishermen go their separate way, separate ways. Out. Bird will go 8,000 miles, miles to the southern tip of Argentina to spend the winter in the golden meadows of, of Patagonia, which look very similar to, one, to the ones she left on the farm. Butterfly will glide to the mountains of central Mexico, 3,000 miles away, and spend the winter in forests with millions of other butterflies. There are so many butterflies, they blanket the trees. Eel will swim down the creek connecting the pond to the sea. From the coast, she'll travel 1,500 miles to the Sargosso Sea, an eddy in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. It is warm and beautiful where bird, butterfly, and eel go. Back on the farm, the barn and the meadow are covered in snow and the pond begins to freeze. It is cold, and the animals that live there miss bird, butterfly, and eel. As winter turns into spring on the farm, bird flies home to her nest in the rafters of the barn where she was born. Butterfly makes a long journey north again as spring turns into summer, her young taking her place in the meadow as the flowers begin to bloom. An eel's young, small as toothpicks and clear as glass, swim up the creek to the pond. And the cycle begins again. So in the back of the book, there are real facts about the bird, the butterfly, and the eel. You guys can take a look at this book if you want to borrow it. But join us this week for our Wonder of the Week. We're going to read, read and learn all about migration. Thanks for joining me.